right, you're going to see I got my Hayward here. Okay, my power light keeps going on and off, and I'm going to try to replace that um, current limiter. I'm going to start by uh, removing this screw and this screw, and I unplugged it and shut off the power. Okay, with the breaker off, I'm going to now take the power off and uh, put wire nuts on those and um, get ready to take this thing apart. Okay, um, I'm kind of starting over here again, but I, I took the cover off, uh, which was easy. There's a screw here and a screw here, and uh, I made sure the power is off at the breaker box, and I took uh, these power cords. The white was on the bottom, the black was on the top, and I just wire nutted them and taped them, as you can see them back there. So I can now try to get to that limiter. Okay, I took a whole bunch of pictures because um, I'm probably going to unplug these wires here, here, down here, and here. I already took the power off, white on the bottom, black on the top. And now I'm going to, uh, and again the screw holes were here to, untake, to take off the cover and here. And now I'm going to try to um, use a screwdriver to get those off and take the board out. Okay, these over here, you can see on the circuit board it says blue, white, violet, gray. That might help you. And I used a pair of, uh, had to use a little pair of pliers to pull some of these out as well. They were a little, little tight. Okay, that flow sensor that everyone talks about, you can see it's like a phone plug right here. It plugged in down here. I also unplugged that. And uh, that board came off of there. Be careful with these little wires here. You can see it. I, took it off already. Okay, lastly, there were some uh, bolts down here that had to be unhooked. So you can see I have everything emptied out. I'm going to take it upstairs and try to desolder that thing. So here's the current limiter right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. But it's split. See how that's split? See, it's split. So here's the solder joints right here that I'm going to try to undo. And I'm going to use my solder iron. Hopefully I don't have to get a new solder iron and a desolder ball. Okay guys, so now you can see how that's burned and how this thing is clearly uh, broken and that's the part that that's the part that needs to be fixed. Look how burnt look how burnt that is inside of there. I'll try to get a better picture if you're see that? It's all burned and corroded. While I'm waiting for the part to come, you can see down here by that that RJ plug right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, got cobwebs in it. So I'm going to blow this whole thing off, and this will be the first of two videos. The next video is me trying to fix this thing and soldering that new piece back in.